Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a what's in my bag as well as what's on my iPad video. I asked you guys on Instagram to give me some video suggestions on what I should do for the month of January. And this was actually requested a lot. I didn't even think that people were interested to be honest, like what's in my bag. And my iPad was literally like top, top requested. And I was like, oh, okay well let me get the girls what they want if you're not following me on instagram make sure you follow me so you can watch my stories and participate in questions and give me suggestions as well as vote on certain things so yeah definitely follow me if you are new here hey girl welcome don't forget to like comment and subscribe join the fam i would love to have you and if you're returning hey boo welcome back i do hope that you enjoy this video anything that i've mentioned in this video will be linked in the description box below if it is available and without further ado let's go ahead and get straight into the video whenever it comes to the bags that i carry it actually really just depends on my outfit so i don't really just carry one bag all the time i do need to get an everyday neutral color bag that i can literally wear with any and everything but yeah my bags switch up basically every outfit so it just depends but i am going to show you what i've been carrying for the past like i would say maybe a week or two now and it is this bag right here which is the mark jacobs tote bag i mentioned this in a vlog probably about a week or so ago letting guys know that i just purchased this bag and i'm absolutely in love with it so yes yeah. um, i heard the girls talking about the tote bag so i was like let me see what it's about and i ended up purchasing this one this is the mini leather tote bag i did want the teddy the mini teddy tote bag but by the time i went on to try and purchase that it was already sold out i believe this bag was about 400 dollars. i actually really like it i decided to go with this color because it's super neutral and like i said you can kind of wear it with any and everything so as you can see here in the front it just says the tote bag Marc Jacobs and then here on the back it also has um, the Marc Jacobs style tote bag location year this is considered the mini bag and i'm still able to get so much stuff in here so this is very convenient for me if you know me you know i don't like a big oversized bag i'm really a medium you know what i mean mixed between small and medium type of bag where you can carry all of your necessities so I don't really carry a lot and I'm not going to fill it up. I did wear this whenever I went and got my hair done. Oh, side note, y'all. I did get a little haircut, a little slump, slump. Nothing too much or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Just a little blunt cut. Um, I think we took off about two inches, okay? I'm so happy about it. It's just a like fresh new start. My hair was honestly super damaged, so I needed to cut it and just kind of start fresh anyway. So that's that. But anyway, so yeah. Um. I wore this bag to get my hair cut and I also had my iPad, which I'm going to be telling you about this a little bit later. In this bag, it fits perfectly actually. So I can like zip it up and then this is just how it would look. Just to give you a little close up, this is the details like of the bag here. It does come with an adjustable as well as detachable strap here, so love that. One of the things that I do keep in my bags are my keys. I don't have them in here, they are on my entryway table. Um, so yeah, but I do keep my keys in here. And then, I keep my wallet so so this is my Louis Vuitton wallet that I got for my birthday as a gift from me to me okay I've been carrying this ever since my birthday which was back in March so almost like a year now so this is that the next thing I got girl this is a receipt okay this is it's realistic <laughs> The next thing that I got here is my AirPods. I have it in this Kate Spade case that I got from Amazon. And again, if that's available, I am going to try and link it. It does come with like a little clip here so you can just like clip it to your keys or whatever. I just have it in there, girl. I also have a mask. That's just our norm right now. Like you gotta have an extra mask. So this is a disposable white mask here. So I have that in there. So the next thing I have is my eyeglass case here. This is my prescription glasses. It's from Warby Parker. Um, and I have that link below. Nothing is in here right now because i do use my glasses <laughs> but i need i don't know if you guys know this or not but i cannot see i cannot see whatsoever so even if you see me out in the street and you speak girl and i don't speak back or whatever i really cannot see unless i have my glasses on or if i have contacts in most of the time i have glasses because like contacts to me is just so annoying so it's easy to just take it on and off with the little glasses so um yeah i have two sets of glasses that just really stays in my bag you know just in case i need to take them off and they're gonna always be protected and then also i have some more glasses here like girl it is literally so spacious so it can fit a lot of the things that i'm showing you so it can fit all this stuff girl i'm not even lying i got this right here which is the saint laurent pear shades here 
and I like to keep shades on me just in case, okay? So this is just like how they look. And again, I also change out my shades as well. It just really depends. Like I said, you never really know when you're gonna need shades. So I just keep them in my bag. And we're actually coming down to the last little bit, girl. So I don't keep that much stuff in my bag, only the necessities. And if I'm carrying a smaller bag, then a lot of this stuff is gonna be like cut in half as well. So I have this little pouch here. It's not the prettiest, I can get something different. This is what I have. This is gonna kind of keep all of my like messier, I like to call it, items. So I keep it in this pouch in case anything weighs. So we do have some hand sanitizer here. And this is from Bath and Body Works. This is the antibacterial hand soap. This is flannel and girl. This smells good, okay? This smells really good. Next thing that I have, I'm gonna just show these at once, are these two hand creams here. This one is a Fenty Skin. This is a Hydra Reset hand mask. I personally do not like this. I don't know why I still have it in my bag, but I just do, but I personally do not like it. It just leaves a really weird feeling on your hand. Like, I don't like it. I also have the Suave Coco Shade Nourishing Lotion. And again, it's just a very small little pack here. You can obviously tell which one I use the most. The next thing I got here are some hair ties. You just never really know when you need to put your hair up, okay? You gotta tussle with some girls. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Um, I also have here some perfume here is definitely needed. Okay, and I just have this little small bottle this little travel size I got this from Ulta. This is a Dolce and Gabbana light blue. I'm literally almost gone girl You probably can't even see it, but it's literally ain't nothing in here So I need to re-up or just put something else in here. I also have some Benadryl cream here extra strength because a fun fact about me, I'm super duper, super duper, super duper sensitive. It's really crazy to be honest with you. I honestly don't go anywhere without my Benadryl cream or just Benadryl medicine in general because like a girl is so sensitive. I can eat something and it causes an allergic reaction. I can touch something and I have an allergic reaction and it's just so freaking weird. Like I don't understand why like i've always been sensitive but like now it's like i'm getting more and more sensitive it's so crazy i remember one time which was probably like two months ago i went and picked up a package in my apartment complex i literally just went down got the package came back up opened the package and then i touched my eye and immediately immediately my eye like bam it was so swole like it was crazy it's just little things like that like you i just never know um next thing i have here is this tie to go pin but i have this just in case you know accidents happen i also have the poopery which is the lavender vanilla i have this and again it's in a travel size because like i said you can't have it taking up too much space but it definitely gets your job done because you never really know you pull up at a friend house and you gotta use the bathroom so yeah but i just carry this just in case and i think i got that travel size from um, Ulta I think so next thing I got here is a BC powder I have a pen and you know what I think it's common to carry pins around I honestly haven't really been carrying pins so the reason why I started carrying pins or I'll put some of this stuff back in here because that's it if I ain't let you know yeah that's it um, but the reason why I started carrying pins, I'm just giving fun facts all throughout the video. I got my passport last year and my first time ever traveling out of the country was last year. You have to fill out these forms. I, I forgot exactly what it's called, girl, because that was back in June, so I can't really remember. But you have to fill out these forms um, to get into. Um, I went to Cabo, Mexico, so you got to um, fill out these forms to get into Mexico and then hold it to get out of Mexico. I do know that when we were on the plane, they were passing out these forms and we had to fill them out. And we have no pen. From now on, I'm carrying pins because you never know what you're gonna need a pen for and people don't be carrying pins so yeah that's that girl so the last thing I wanted to tell you about is just my iPad I'm gonna briefly go over this because a lot of people wanted to see what's on my iPad and a lot of people wanted me to kind of go over like how I do digital planning so I was like okay that can be a whole separate video because it is just it's a really you know detailed video um so I would just like I said just briefly go over this and if you want to see um, a more detailed video of like what's on my iPad, how I do certain things on my iPad, as well as like how I customize my um, home screen apps, 
um, and then how I digital plan, just let me know and I will definitely do that. I did get this iPad back in December. I ordered it on Black Friday. I actually ordered this as well as a MacBook Pro, but my MacBook Pro is not going to be delivered until later on this month or early February because your girl got a lot of stuff, okay? A lot of stuff on that MacBook Pro just to make sure that it's gonna give me what I needed to give me and I can create better like content for you guys. So anyway, this is the iPad Pro 11. I got this in space gray and I got my initials on the back of it. I also got the Apple Pencil second generation and I got my initials on the pencil as well. The pencil, baby, that pencil is everything. Okay. I love, love that pencil. I'm always like, okay, I don't know how to add. So the case is from Etsy. You also have the option to get, if you're interested in um, this case, you also have the option to get it monogrammed, but I just got a plain case. I do wanna let you know this case did take a little bit over two weeks to get to me. I think it's coming from the UK, I'm not sure. But um, I just wanna let you guys know that in case you are interested in ordering this, because like I stated, don't plan on getting this anytime soon. They have two options for this case. So they have the book cover which is the one that I got, it looks like this. And I personally like the book cover the best, but the other option is the flip cover. Now I do have a flip cover case for this. I got it from Apple and um, you guys know like what the flip cover look like. If not, I'll try like insert like a picture of it. But I like the book cover case because like I can literally put it in different positions. So if I want it out like this, I can. Um, if I want it in like this, I can. Or if I just want it more in like that, I can as well. So it just really depends. And I personally like this because like if I'm laying in the bed I can adjust it to however I want to and it stays and I'm able to watch TV watch YouTube Netflix whatever on here and y'all I've been using this non-stop okay like all right so anyway when you open it up this is what it looks like I have a lot of like sorry guys let me try to do a separate screen I have a lot of notifications here from Twitter, follow girl on Twitter. I also have a little place here for your pencil, so if you don't wanna charge it, or if it's already at 100%, you can just stick it right here, and then you can just push it out to grab the pencil. But you can see the little hole right there, it just makes it easier to get the pencil. And then also, it still has a little place right here where it connects, and immediately once it connects, it charges the pencil. So on my home screen, I just have a vision board here. I got this idea from Atia, which is from Naturally Sunny. Um, I seen her post this on her Instagram story, and I was like, yes, baby. I, li I like that, I got to do that. Because, and I told her this as well, it's just a perfect way just to have all your visions, all your goals right there in front of you each and every day. So I have this on my iPad, I also have it here on my phone. So both of them are the same, just so if I'm not using my iPad, I can see it on my phone. I'm just subconsciously reminded of my goals and visions every day. I customize my phone every month and I just got this iPad, but I've been customizing it as well. Um, I just like to, I think it's fun, I think it's different. I also think like, it's just something to kind of get you going kind of get you inspired because as you will see throughout the screens they are you know somewhat motivating as well so i like that it's not just plain and boring it gets you excited so this month i decided to go with black next month is probably going to be like a valentine's day like you know type theme or whatever all the stuff including the wallpaper is always from like pinterest i first open it up my home screen is like super duper plain and i just have all of my little most used apps here at the bottom well everything on my my iPad is kind of really most used because I don't I didn't want to flood the iPad only just with like business things um, but anyway so I have like Safari I have messages I also have my mail and I also have Instagram here at the bottom so that's just what that looks like and then whenever we slide over I have these are widget smiths um, but I have the month I have a calendar here at the top I have some of my icons here which is YouTube and YouTube studio again you guys know I'm a full-time content creator so that is definitely needed um, I have notes I have my calendar and then I have like a little inspo picture here which is of some jewelry and like money because baby we want all the coins okay all the coins for 2022 I then I have reminders here I literally need my reminders right there in front of me again just like i said about your lock screen just seeing your goals and visions there every single day like anytime you open up your phone or anytime you open up your ipad i feel the same whenever it comes to reminders like i just want to make sure that i'm constantly seeing what i have to do today or what's coming up so yeah and then moving over here i have a daily affirmation i do not chase i attract what is for me will simply find me i use that daily affirmation for so long now i've actually been using it for a few months and i've noticed some changes okay with that daily affirmation but again i just like to have it right here in front of my face so i get to see it but also i'm seeing it throughout the day as well um i have a little 
Another inspo pick, cause your girl, in case you didn't know, your girl dream car is a Mercedes G Wag. Okay, I don't want hear nothing. I don't want hear nothing about it. That's just my dream car. Um, so I just had that, cause it just gives me goals. You know, one day I'll be able to get that. I have some more apps here: my camera, Pinterest, um, Canva, Twitter, Afterpay Music, and Netflix. And then I also use Good Notes, and Good Notes is what I use for my uh, calendar, my digital my digital calendar. So I just have another little, you know, pick here, just something cute or whatever. And then um, whenever I slide over here, these are all the rest of my apps. Now I've watched plenty of tutorials on like how to customize your devices and you can get rid of these. Like if you don't want it on your screen at all, you don't have to, you can just get rid of it and it'll go into like this little app library here. Um, you can just remove it from your home screen and it'll go into the app library. But I just keep it right here. It's not that serious, like nobody can see it and I barely just go over there anyway. So anytime I'm wanting to search for an app that I don't have a app icon for that I customize. All I do is just pull my screen down, the keyboard comes up here and I just type whatever I'm looking for. So that is like photos, it's coming up. So I'll just tap photos and then, I mean, we're good to go. So yeah, that's that on my iPad, you guys. And like I stated, um, as far as like digital planning, how I customize everything, I definitely will be getting more into that if you guys are interested. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys like what's on my iPad. And I just love the little case here. It just kind of reminds me of like a little, you know, like a little planner. So even though I'm digital planning, it still gives me the vibes of like, a planner so I love this it's super freaking cute all right babe so that completes my what's in my bag and what's on my iPad I hope that you guys enjoyed it leave me comments down below let me know what's in your bag or what's on your iPad or your iPhone whatever you have and thanks so much for watching and I will see you in my next video